should be performed after the first 24,000 miles or 24 months, and every 48,000 miles or 48 months after that. In addition to low power, valves that are out of adjustment can cause harsh starting or rough running. Keep in mind, we're talking about valves that are significantly out of adjustment, not merely a couple of thousands. The adjustment involves placing the engine at top dead center on the compression stroke for the number one cylinder, as described earlier during injection pump timing. After locating top dead center, be sure to put a paint mark on the dampener and the engine for reference. You'll need them to reposition the crankshaft for the second set of valve adjustments. At top dead center, you can adjust number one intake and exhaust, number two intake, number three exhaust, number four intake, and number five exhaust. The clearance for intake valves is ten thousandths of an inch, and the clearance for exhaust valves is twenty thousandths of an inch. To adjust the rest of the valves, rotate the crankshaft 360 degrees. Don't forget to pull out the timing pin before doing so. Then you can adjust number two exhaust, number three intake, number four exhaust, number five intake, and number six intake and exhaust. You wouldn't ordinarily think of the transmission as being the cause of low power, but the automatic transmission in particular should be considered a possible cause. Earlier, when discussing the road test, we suggested connecting the DRB3 to monitor wide open throttle shift points. That's because shift points that are too low or too high can cause poor performance. Wide open throttle shifts should occur at an engine speed of 2500 RPM, plus or minus 100 RPM. A throttle valve cable that is out of adjustment is one possible cause of shift points that are not within spec. We discussed how to check and adjust this cable when we covered throttle linkage, and this is one possible cause you should catch early in your troubleshooting. The diagnosis charts in Group 21 of the service manual list other possible causes, so be sure to refer to them if shift points are not where they should be. Our final check is maximum stall speed. You can use stall speed to check for our final two possible causes of low power, a malfunctioning torque converter or transmission clutches that are slipping. To perform the stall test, first drive the truck to bring the transmission fluid to normal operating temperature. And if you haven't already done so, check the transmission fluid level and add fluid if necessary. Then connect the DRB3 to the data link connector and access engine RPM. Next, after blocking the front tires, apply the parking and service brakes and place the gear shift selector lever in drive. At this point, open the throttle completely. Allow the engine four to 10 seconds to achieve maximum RPM and record the reading. Once you reach maximum RPM, do not hold the throttle open for longer than four to five seconds and do not hold the throttle open if RPM exceeds 2500 RPM. The normal range for stall speed is 1800 to 2300 RPM. The service manual contains a stall test analysis, which you should refer to following the test. In addition to possible causes of low or high RPM, it discusses noise and poor performance that may be caused by the torque converter. In fact, we're going to use the service manual information about the stall test as the basis of our next question. A stall speed that is too high usually indicates transmission clutch slippage. True or false? The answer is true. A high stall speed usually indicates slipping transmission clutches. A low stall speed, on the other hand, usually indicates a problem with a torque converter overrunning clutch. That's about it for our look at troubleshooting Dodge Ram pickups with Cummins diesel engines. The checks described in this program should help you get to the bottom of most low power complaints. As always, when troubleshooting, be sure to first consider the causes which are more common and easiest to check. Join us next month when our topic will be fuel basics. We'll see you then.